again. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at, an ex at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard as the sun is fading behind a cloud in February and it's still a beautiful temperature out here. Too beautiful not to be outside. So I am going to do an inversion pour on this 18 by 24 inch canvas and I'm going to start assuming that I have all my spatulas close by with my OXO omelette turning spatula and lay down a layer of paint. I love these spatulas for spreading paint and I really like the fact that if I spread it thin, even if I spread it thick, I can still see the anomalous lumps in the paint to remove them before they dry in, which is not what anybody wants who's pouring fluid acrylics. And that's for sure. We have a guest today in the studio again. The studio with the birds. Yeah, the studio, right. <laughs> I did say we were gonna do an inversion pour, which requires a layer of paint all over the whole canvas to begin with. And I want to do two colors. It's going to be two-tone. And it's taking me longer than I want it to, but it's an 18 by 24 inch canvas and there's stuff that doesn't belong. Goodbye stuff that does not belong. I'm going to run my finger right up the edge and hope Stacy's children don't call her to come running an hour and 45 minutes. Direct. Quick, we need you, Mom! This time, I'm going to follow as closely as I can so I know I have enough paint. That is not coming out very well. I think that needs before I need it to make a puddle. All right. I have one clean side of this spatula left, and I'm going to do it. Because I'm not really trying to coat over that right now, I'm going to just push that bead of paint right up to that other color. I'm also going to be putting a puddle down because that's what an inversion pour is for me. I'm going to be lowering a container. It sounds like rain out there. It's probably pollen. <laughs> <coughs> Speaking of pollen, if I cough, don't worry everybody. I know you worry sometimes. Don't worry. It's just the pollen. I'm not sick. Although it does give you occasional headache. That could be the hangover too. All right, it is a warm day. It's not as warm as it can be in the summertime. It's only February still. The background is applied to help facilitate the paint I add on top of it to slide around. I'm not gonna worry about my edges because I will be using my hands on the edges to hold the canvas. But I do kind of want to make that paint go slightly over the edge right now. I also want it to go right up the middle right now, whether I said so or not. I don't want to find any anomalous vacancies, vacant spots. All right, I'm going to put that right in the bucket and I'm going to find my, wow, okay. I must have used it as a funnel and I had Floetrol formed in the bottom and that's not helpful. That was our tool of choice. That's going to take me an extra 20 seconds to clear that out. I should have another one of these handy, and I don't. All right, let's hope this works. <laughs> I am going to take, where is my pan of color? I have pan of color from yesterday that I sealed with this sticky wrap. They're beautiful colors. Uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> Excuse me. I love pollen. I, I do. <sighs> ah! Excuse me. Wow. All right, so, excuse my runny nose and sniffling. Hateful spring. <laughs> I'm gonna dump all of that color, very cautiously, right down into that inversion pour cup and hope that I get away with it. I may inject a little more gold. <coughs> Usually I would just layer stuff in there, but I'm thinking I can get away with it. I'm going to forcefully add, well, until the marble hits there. What else do I want? I want something fabulous. I want color shift turquoise. And your purple. And my pur There you go. I will put that in there. We're going to have way more paint than I need, but that's okay. 
So back to the inversion part of this pour. I still want some orange in there. Oh well, never mind. Can I have it? Really? Please? Here we go. So I have my white. And I'm making a puddle. And I have my black. Maybe I'd like that to be purple. I'd probably like it to be something else, but don't worry about it. Um, so I have a nice heavy layer of paint. And I'm going to slowly lift my bottleneck. That's cool. We're all done. <laughs> oh, okay. Let me move some stuff out of the way because we have choices to make. Now, depending on how this turns out, and the colors are really pretty right now, I could also throw skewers, chains, um, basting brushes, you name it, right in there. I'm just going to hit that briefly and make some more cells. I don't use any silicone in my mixes, but the Floetrol mixed with the Decor pouring medium, either or of those two things will create cells. Now, I'm not very good at slow tipping, as in I do ring pours, but they're not like everybody else's. But if you can slow tip with all these cells, you will actually be able to stretch them. I see there's a bubble right in the middle, or something, and sometimes or something needs to be removed. No, that was just a bubble. All right, so. I love this, but <laughs> I'm not good at leaving well enough alone, so I'm going to do some other colors. I keep seeing people squeeze things under the edge of stuff, and I haven't quite got that yet. But it doesn't mean that I'm not going to give it a try. Like in that. Because I'm constantly experimenting. I really want an edge catcher. And I've got one, fairly attractive. This is just a plastic insert from a 16 by 20 inch pack of value canvases at Michael's. I also have a stretcher bar on the back of this canvas. And I'm gonna let this paint flow. And I can see where it's going to a point. I'm going to be able to blow if I want to. I can also use spatulas and I'm going to go ahead and give myself permission right now to use my basting brush while I still have wet paint that I can deal with. I'm going to wipe that off. And you're fine. I didn't see that going. coming. <laughs> nice. I don't know about nice yet, but we'll see. I'm really not very capable of just leaving well enough alone, and we know that about me already. I made mud. I don't have any rules, so if I decide I want something different, I just go for it. I find that if I'm fortunate enough to be inspired by the universe, I ought to listen. <laughs> and I like all of that. I want some dark purple, which is right there. And where is my tubing, which I'm always hiding? Oh, cool, let's check that out. Sorry, you guys, can't show you. <laughs> All right, well, I can't find my tubing, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a skewer. And I'm gonna take whatever happens with the skewer as in whatever paint adheres, and I'm going to let it roll over the side, and I'm going to push it down in.
knowing that if I tip, it will spread paint. And paint flows to paint, so if I've got a nice heavy layer, I can do something with that. I kind of want that right up here. I want some more gold up there, but I think what I'm going to use instead is some turquoise. I'm making a beautiful, beautiful rusty colored mud. <laughs> and I completely mean that, too. That's the white pearl from Anita's, because I'm feeling like I want some cell popping opportunity. I'm going to throw it over here on this edge because I think it'll be a good cover. I'm going to have to keep keep cleaning my basting brush off. They're my assistant. If you dip it all the way in, it will get wet where the handle is, but otherwise... Cool! Ha! Assistant for the day. <laughs> Can't beat that. Heck so I'm no! Gonna, I'm going to you can those towels right... I don't know. <laughs> there were towels. That white one. That one, white one will work just. So I'm just dragging that skewer right up, and I like that purple. So I think I'm going to do it again. Don't worry about it. I usually slap everything on my on the back side of my pants before I use it anyway. <laughs> okay, good. All right. So I like that purple. I think I've said that like half a dozen times now. So my inversion pours are probably not like everybody's inversion pours, but oh well. And you like my color. And I'm going to be happy to see the back of some of that brown. And as long as the white paint we started with is still wet, we'll pop some cells. As soon as I find that tubing, I'm going to have a blow through it. It's behind you. Is it? Oh, cool. You are so useful to have. I sure know. You like to stay? I should be here more often. You should be here more often. Now, I will often use my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas and just pounce them to fill in little gaps or to do whatever. In which case, right now, it's mixing those two paints together and letting that go over the edge as well. And then using the residual to pull out some more to cover over there too. The more chance they have to be agitated together, the more chance they, are, they have of uh, popping cells like you can see there. And then if I really like it and I need some more gold there, I'll do that. Whoops. Oh well. Miracles happen all the time. Especially in accidental art. I've got canvas showing, so that means I'm just going to allow myself some more black and let those things mix together. I like letting the texture in there to play. And I like crossing over colors. The, uh, the thickness of that paint is a little 
confusing to the eye for me right now. I did set my timer. Time flies when you're having fun. We're down to the last two minutes before I have three more minutes. So I might as well tell you whatever I'm going to tell you, if I'm going to tell you anything. Which is hard, since I'm having a really good time and I don't want to tell you anything. Okay. Well. I never did find my crib sheets. So if you guys want to help me out, there's a contest running every month. And if you contribute through PayPal or Patreon, the links are below the video. And also on my, there are icons on my YouTube channel header. And yes, I just got paint over there. Please stay on the turntable. I'm, uh, my painting is actually larger than my turntable, so. I'm going to take a finger full of that. Fortunately, there's other paint that's gone off there. And I have something on my basting brush. Do I really want to put that in there? I guess so. <laughs> a little gold never hurt anybody then. The edge of my basting brush is what I want to use. If the paint is still good and wet, it will blend together. That's pretty cool. I'm liking that right there. don't like it when I leave my paint in my way. And uh, that's us with two minutes left for me to tell you whatever I'm supposed to tell you. And I tried and failed already. So I don't know what that's going to be. That's going to be, I've got Teespring below the video where I've got some of my, my designs. And I've got an Amazon link where you can find the OXO omelet turning spatula, which is probably in the bucket. Don't worry about it. Here's another one. Best paint spreading tool around. I've got Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas that need to be cleaned. And uh, I think we're almost done. I think it would be probably not a bad thing for me to go ahead and torch. We torch to release the bubbles in the paint. I've got a little canvas up there. I'm not minding most of that at all, though. It's kind of fun. I want some gold over here. Of course you do. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Every once in a while she says something and you remember she's here. Alright, that's different. That's okay. I'm liking all that. I'm going to steal some paint from right over here. I'm not going to worry about that either. I say that. All right, so watch another video. <laughs> In the last 20 seconds of this one, you'll find a playlist for like 450 other videos. And if you like what you see and you contribute, you'll be included in the contest, or if your name is drawn, you'll get to win something. A choice of three or four paintings, depending on the month. And uh, do I want some black over there too? Will it work with the gold? That's a good question. We're just playing. We're having too much fun. And uh, that's it. You guys are going to be gone in a second. And I'll say this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard saying thank you for joining me. Thank you for all the contributions. Thanks for the thumbs up. I really need that. Uh, if you want to buy some artwork, please go ahead and contact me and I will uh, give you an email and get in touch. Same thing for classes in Spring Hill at the house at the studio. So thank you all for joining me, and thank you to 50,000 subscribers, because I'm pretty sure I'm there by now. I was $49,000. <laughs> yeah, I wish. I was 49,000 subscribers recently, and, uh, and 30 videos later, I ought to be at 50. So I love you guys. Take care. This is Priscilla out. Still sticking her fingers in paint, covering the edges of her canvas, and calling it good. I'm going to make sure that you can see everything before I finish whatever I need to finish. 
on the edges of my canvas.